So here I have my old ATN illuminator with an Alcan Spectre, one to one, uh, one and a half to six. So I'm using film with white phosphor. It's a lot better. So not only am I illuminating my target, I'm also aiming with this reticle. Now, that's 100 yards. That is totally doable if you're able to see anything. Uh, 100 yards to that tree's 200. That's a, that's a stretch. I kind of, because of the um, contrast between the tree and the, and the, the grass, 300, uh, not not great. I, I don't see. I can see the uh, the big black thick bars on either side of the reticle, but I don't really see the indices, uh, the actual crosshair, and I definitely don't really see subtensions. Interesting. It actually makes. Oh, check that out. It's illuminating that house. <laughs> I could probably shoot at the house. So that's interesting. The one to the six X makes a tighter beam. Hey, now I could do a 300 yard shot. Theoretically, theoretically. Interesting. That is pretty cool. Was not expecting that result. That's cool. So it refocuses the light, tightens the beam and yeah, 300 yard shot, uh, possible. Not, not the greatest. Uh, a laser would be way better than this. Um, but it's really interesting. This is a surefire vampire. Let's see how well it works behind. The Elkan Spectre. That is like way worse. <laughs> that does not work at all. I can't. I can't see. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's that's not great. Oh Jesus! There we go. What's going on? There we go. Where's the switch? Wow, that is... If I can get this, like, perfectly aligned behind the Alcan, Jesus, that's a lot of freaking light. Yeah, more light does seem to help. This is a Mod Light 850 shining through an Alcan. God, that's so bright. That just lights up that, that whole building right there. Right, that works. Huh. I'm surprised this D-ball does not seem, D-ball D2 does not seem to work well behind the Alcan. Look at how dim that is. Really great focus beam, but when behind the D-ball? Not great. You can see the bars there. Hmm. Interesting. That is not the result I was expecting. I don't want that. There we go. Uh, okay, so that's a laser illuminator shining through a D-ball. Surprisingly, that's not that great. Yeah, that's not that's not great. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I got lucky on the ATM illuminator. Okay, let's try this again. I have an LPVO. This is just a Vortex Strike Eagle. Ooh, check that out. 
<laughs> that's easier to see. Uh, not not that bright. Oh, moonrise. Okay, so out there you can see the much brighter. So now this will be not as effective because I think with that much bright ambient light, you're gonna lose this reticle. But look, 100 yards. That's 100 yards. 200 yards, uh, doable. Three, it's not. It's just too dim. Okay, so let's switch lights. It's if I go with the mod light, which by far had the best performance, but I just can't mount it behind the the scope. Oh yeah, dude, 300 yards, no problem. How do I get the light like perfectly? Hmm. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, 300 yards. With the modern light, 300 yards. No problem. Doo -doo -doo. And look, as I move the light, the reticle does not move. So there's no sort of, lack for a better term, there's no reverse parallax, I guess. If the light isn't directly behind the dead center, the. Actually, you know what? Let's not move. Okay. As I move the light around, the reticle does not, does not move. Man, that, that works really well. All right, let's try flipping this. Oh, wait. There's not an Alcan. <laughs> How do I increase magnification? Ooh, it gets tighter. thingy oh yeah oh yeah Pfft. just put the horseshoe on the thingy horseshoe on the thingy man this lumen just works so good Magnified optic is not a good choice. Oh, oh, parallax, parallax. Okay, so with the parallax adjustment, I can sort of see my crosshairs. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick this up, but it's real faint. And if I, ch yeah, if I change magnification, it just tightens the, the flashlight beam. I mean, I guess I could use this almost like a laser, just, but such, it's such a huge aiming dot. <laughs> it's ginormous.